Welcome to WebStarPress. How can we generate a table using JavaScript? This is a perfect JavaScript assignment question for beginners or computer science students. We have two input fields. First one for the number to generate table from and second is the limit for the records to be generated. For example, if I type 2 and 3 in the input fields, a table like this should be generated containing three rows. Two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, I will comment this static table and place a table tag without rows and columns in it. Rows containing columns will be inserted into table dynamically. This HTML page has two inputs. These should have IDs or classes that we can target. So first input number, second input record. Button has already got a class named as BTN. So we have two inputs and one button. In head section, we have bootstrap CSS library attached. In footer, we have got scripts.js file attached. All the logic will be written in scripts.js file. JavaScript code in this file will be executed for the HTML page. Okay, first of all, use window on load to run scripts after page loading is done. The load event is fired when the whole page has loaded, including all dependent resources such as style sheets, scripts, iframes, and images. Okay, here is the logic implementation. Add a click event listener to the button, get required elements and their values such as inputs and button, and store these in variables. Get the table tag and store it in a variable. Start a for loop starting from 1 and ending at provided records limit. Multiply given number with the number that is being incremented in the loop and then generate table raw and its inner HTML with the multiplied results or with the results that are being multiplied. First we add event listener, click event listener. document.curioselector.btn add event listener click function now get the required elements Now we don't have to use document.curioselector each time when we want to use number, record or table. We can just reference variables that are storing these elements. This is for the number, this is for the record and this is the table. Now let's start a for loop. Loop will start from 1 and end at provided record limit number, this number. This is the result from multiplying given number and the number that is being incremented in loop. Then we will use two methods, insert raw and insert cell. 0 is the position of raw and column, 0 for the first position. Table is this one, table dot insert raw zero at zero position. The insert raw method creates an empty tr element and adds it to a table. It inserts the new raw at the specified index in the table. Similarly, insert cell method 
inserts a cell into the current row, we will insert five columns or cells in the row. Now row and columns have been inserted into table. We have to insert data in cells now. First it will have the number, this number that will be here. Coming from here, document query selector number value. Second one will be X or multiply sign. Then third one will be i, the number that is being incremented in for loop. Then we will have equal sign and here this result that is multiplying this number with the number that is being incremented in for loop that is i, product of number and i. Okay, so let's test it out. 2, 3, generate. Two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six. Now the rows position is opposite. We can reverse it by using minus one here instead of zero. Save two, three. Now the order is correct. Two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six, two ten generate and you see these are duplicate records let's refresh the page 2 10 generate 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 and 2 tens are 20 reload 3 20 generate so now this is fine but now we have to reload page to see new data. We can change that as well. So here on button click, we can check if rows exist in the document. If yes, we can remove old rows before populating new ones. Let rows old document dot selector table tr. If draws old, draws old dot for each function raw, raw dot remove, save to three twenty four. Inspect. Now here we've got error. Raws old dot for each is not a function. So here, because we have got multiple draws, we will use query selector all. Save two three five two. Now it is correct. Six. 10. Now it is working without reloading page. Okay. This was by using vanilla JavaScript. We can do it in jQuery even more easily. For that, I will comment this code. And then in HTML document, we'll have to link jQuery. CDNJS link, link from CDNJS, jQuery, and rest of it is fine. So for jQuery, in scripts file, document dot ready, when DOM will be ready.
button click function. First of all, let's remove the rows if they are present. Table tr dot remove. It's that simple. Let number, let record. number dot well record dot well and then here for loop let i is equal to one i plus plus let m result number multiplied by i. Let's prepare the raw. Let raw backticks tr. Let's copy this format here. Here will be number. Here just x sign and here i equal sign and here will be m result now all we have to do is to append this raw to the table this whole raw save let's try it out five six generate eight four yep it is working so this is jquery version to generate a table using javascript okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video